All right, that brings us to our first big face-off question on Centre Stage tonight. We're asking, has the armed army lost confidence in the government? It was a resounding success, this Bharat Bund in opposition rule states. So has the armed army lost his confidence in the government? Here in our studios, Nirmala Sitaraman, National Spokesperson of the BJP, Atul Anjan, National Secretary of the CPI, Paranjoy Guha Takurta, Senior Political and Economic Analyst, and joining us from his residence here in Delhi is Dr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi, MP and National Spokesperson of the Congress Party. I want to start with you, Dr. Singhvi. Sugar at 45 rupees a kilo, moong dal at 85, haldi at 200, petrol at 55. Has the UPA failed the arm army? Price rise is breaking the back of the arm army. We saw a manifestation of that today in the Bharat Band. It was supported by the common man. Let's get a few facts clear. The so-called Bharat Band, in the name of the arm army, has done maximum damage to the Aam Aadmi. They have obstructed the ordinary civic life of the Aam Aadmi. It's absolutely wrong to suggest that the Aam Aadmi is supporting this kind of a band. Yes, in a certain areas of government-sponsored uh, bands where the BJP or the NDA is ruling the states, there has been a show of strength precisely because they wanted to make sure that the band is seen to have the support of the Aam Aadmi. That the Aam Aadmi is far more intelligent than the opposition makes him out to be. No. Number one, they forget that it is in the name of the Aam Aadmi that he has caused the maximum discomfort by these bands. Number two, it is for that reason that the Supreme Court way back in 12 or 13 no, years ago declared such bands unconstitutional. No, but the fact and is, Dr. Singhvi, the, fa the fact is, Dr. Singhvi, we got callers all through the day here on this channel and they called us from Mumbai, from Delhi, from Tamil Nadu, from Hyderabad and most of these are Congress rule states. Yeah. The, for the first time, the arm army in this country is not apathetic or even antagonistic to a band, but he's actually empathizing I, and sympathizing with the sentiment of the band. And that's, that's a fact that the Congress I, cannot I brush long, away. Uh, I have long ago stopped believing in your straw polls and SMSs of television channels. I think political history has taught tele uh, uh, television channels themselves not to believe in that. So, so you're, you're, you're the then rushing away, Mr. Dr. Singh, we are, are rushing away Of course I'm rushing opinion. away telephone calls. No, That's the no, sentiment of the people of this country. Isn't that our money? Look, look let, me, let me do one thing. Uh, I have three people all range against me. I have you as a fourth person. At least give me a few moments to complete my sentence. All right, go uh, ahead. If you don't give me three times the time, give me at least twice the time. Go ahead. Uh, I am saying that straw telephone calls to your television channel do not constitute the Aam Aadmi's opinion. That's why opinion polls and exit polls have failed and that's what your channels and other channels have realized and stopped doing. So let's not get such kind of telephone calls in the way. Okay. Let me point out that this is a bun supposedly called mainly for the fuel price rise. Now the fuel price rise, the BJP, when it was in power, increased petrol more than 20 times. Not, not 20 times in quantum, but 20 on 20 occasions. They increased mm -hmm. diesel, uh, kerosene on four occasions. They increase diesel on several occasions. Our increases are minimalist. They are the absolute minimum necessary. They okay. are a fraction of what they could be or should be according to experts. I'll give you one example only. There are many other facts I have. Kerosene we've increased after six years for the first time in 2004 till today. No increase. F fair first enough. time we've increased I, by I, three I wanna, rupees. I want to get Nirmala Sitaraman to, Rupi to Rupi respond goes. to that. The that that's something that the Congress has been consistently saying. Kerosene. That the BJP when it was in power, the NDA when it was in power, the, for example, PDS kerosene went up from 2 rupees 50 paise a litre in January of 98 to 9 rupees a litre in March of 2002. That's a hike of 250%. percent ultimately. Yeah, 258%. Yes. But let's understand the larger context in which this uh, uh, delinking of administrative price mechanism has been done now. For the last one year, from the panchayat level to the parliament, we are repeatedly, not just us, many parties have been repeatedly saying about the food price infl inflation. Today, the prices of essential goods, even the dal chawal, which an ordinary citizen can mm. afford earlier, have become beyond his means. Now, at this time, nobody is suggesting that we want the national oil companies to be at loss permanently. It's a larger issue. We all will have to apply our mind on it. We'll have to see which is the best way to do. So is, and is above the bus all, the best way to do that then? No, certainly not. But after having gone up to the level of cut motion in the parliament, in spite of that, <laughs> when the Congress party is not even responding towards cutting the price down or addressing the issues of poverty, addressing issues of PDS failure, and not even telling us what is the number of 
below poverty line people there are 